Hey folks, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Today in this really quick tutorial, I just want to quickly and briefly cover a really cool expression that I found by a brilliant man named Mark. Now basically what this expression does is it uses the luminance of one layer to drive the luminance of another layer. And you know, this is Mark's website here at marcos.co.nz. Again, this article and link will be in the video description down below for you to read. Now Mark provides a lot of explanation on how the expression works and how to use it and provides some pretty neat examples here. But the most important part is the expression that he researched and found. Now we're just going to borrow this expression real quick. So we're going to copy it. And basically in this video tutorial, I just want to briefly show you how to use expression and how to apply it in After Effects. So once again, I really highly recommend that you read this article. He has a lot of explanation on it. And you know, mad props to him and thank you for sharing what you found Mark. So back into After Effects here. I have a really quick scene set up and this is actually just a still image of Sam and Nico. Sam actually sent me this image a while back when I did the dubstep guns tutorial so I'm going to reuse it again. Hopefully he won't mind. But thank you Sam for sending me this image. I'm reusing it and recycling it. So what we have here is essentially just a muzzle flash. And you can see that we kind of have some ambient lighting to kind of match and react to our muzzle flash here. So this is exactly what the shot looks like before I apply some exposure to it. And you know, it looks very dull, looks very plain, you know, the environment's not really reacting to the light here, you know, his face doesn't have any lighting on it, his clothing doesn't have any light spills from the muzzle flash. So we would have to add that in manually in After Effects. Now it's a fairly easy process, but it's a fairly uh, troublesome and cumbersome process. So, so let me walk you through how you would do it traditionally. You would traditionally either create a new adjustment layer or maybe an orange solid. So in this case, I'm going to use an adjustment layer. I'm going to call it exposure. And then I'm just going to apply the exposure effect to this adjustment layer here. So you would usually drop it in. You would usually increase the exposure a little bit. And then you would essentially mask out the areas where you want the luminance to be applied. So maybe you want to mask out his face right here. And then, you know, maybe part of his clothing here, you know, I'm going to be very rough in this tutorial. And then you would feather out the mask a little bit just so it kind of blends in a little bit more and you have no sharp edges. And just like that, you kind of created your really basic light spill. Pretty crappy, but it gets the point. Um, so basically what we have here is some light spills and kind of react. And it makes things more realistic into the shot. So basically when you have this done, you would have to either manually animate the exposure level or animate the opacity level of the layer here. So every single muzzle flash shot, you would have to animate this thing on and off. Let me just turn off the mask here. But essentially you would have to animate the exposure levels on and off for every single muzzle flash. And if you have, you know, 20 or 30 muzzle flash fires, you know, it's going to be very tedious to do this manually. So basically what Mark's expression does is it actually automates the whole thing automatically. So I'm going to delete the muzzle flash composition right here. And then I'm going to delete the exposure ones that I did before. So now we're just left with the screenshot and the exposure light spill that we just created. So the first thing we need to do is drag in our muzzle flash. Bring this in. This is actually muzzle flash number 14 from Action Essentials. You would actually just, you know, play around with the angle, make sure it's at the right angle. Put it into place here, maybe you scale it down. Maybe change the blending mode from normal to perhaps add. You know, something basic like this. So now, how in the world do we animate this process and create the light spills to animate? Basically, we need to go to the exposure. And we need to apply an expression to the master exposure here. So we're going to hold down Alt or Option, click on the exposure stopwatch. And that's going to bring up the expression controls for the exposure. We're going to paste in the expression that we copied earlier and hit away. And it's going to give us a warning because some of our layer names are not the same. So I'm going to make some room here and I'm going to expand this expression window. What we need to define is the driver layer. So basically, what is the main layer that's going to drive the exposure? And in our case, it's our muzzle flash layer. So this is actually Mark's predefined name. Except in my composition, my muzzle flash is called muzzle flash. So I'm going to change the name to muzzle flash. And now if you go back, you can see that our light spills are going to be automatically automated. So everything's working just fine. So pretty much what this expression does is it looks at the luminance of the muzzle flash and it's going to transfer those values into the exposure of our adjustment layer. 
So that way, whenever the exposure levels is pretty high on the muzzle flash here, it's going to reflect that onto our adjustment layer so we have our nice light spills. And that way we can automate the whole process a lot faster than manually doing it. So that's pretty cool, but what happens if you have multiple muzzle flashes? Well, the best way I found to do this is that I actually just pre-compose the whole thing like Mark said. So for example, if I just duplicate this muzzle flash, maybe we want to fire again, maybe over here. We would drag it and place it in time, and then we would pre-compose all the muzzle flashes into one main composition. We'll just call this muzzle flash one. Move all attributes into the new composition. And it's going to give us another error because the name is different. So we're going to change the uh, blending mode from normal to add once again. And we'll go back into the exposure and rename the name. So I'll go back here and change the name from muzzle flash to muzzle flash one. That way the driver layer is our muzzle flash one layer right here or composition. And it's going to use the luminance of this right here to drive or control the exposure level in our exposure adjustment layer. So just like that, we can see that the whole process is animated. And you can see that we have our light spills whenever our muzzle flash hits. So you know, nothing too impressive, but a really, really handy and very useful expression that will help many of you visual effects artists and compositors out there. Many thanks to Mark for sharing his expressions that he found out. Really appreciate it. And many thanks to Sam for sending me the screenshot a while back. So hopefully you don't mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, uh, hit up Mark at his website. Again, his link will be in the video description down below. But, you know, if you have any questions or comments or, you know, you want to leave some positive feedback, uh, head over to Mark's site. So once again, guys, my name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo. Hopefully you enjoyed this video tutorial. Props to Sam and Mark. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.